Welcome to lesson two. In lesson two we're going to cover basic text formatting using HTML. Basic text formatting is doing things like bold, italics, emphasize, making headlines, making horizontal rules, and page breaks. This is pretty simple stuff so this lesson shouldn't take very long. To do this lesson you're going to need to have notepad plus plus or notepad open. You're going to need your doc type template with the lorem ipsum dummy text. You might even want to start with the lorem ipsum dummy text formatted as paragraphs as we did in lesson one. I'm going to get started. Here's what we have. This is what you should probably want to start with is your lorem ipsum dummy text formatted as paragraphs. Just like this. I've got paragraph open, closing, and this is one chunk of text. Paragraph open closing, here's another chunk of text. Paragraph open closing, here's another chunk of text. Another, and another. Okay, so what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to show you how to make things like bold, emphasis, italics. We're going to make some headlines, and we're going to do some horizontal rules and page breaks. Before that, I want to talk a little bit about white space in, in the browser and white space in your markup. White space is all of the space that is around your content. I'm going to add some white space really quickly. That area right there is white space. Okay. I'm going to save this and I'm going to open it in Firefox so you can see what it looks like. Okay, so you'll notice that the paragraphs always stretch from one edge, one edge of the page to the other no matter what and we always see a space below and a space above a paragraph no matter what. Now if I change the white space in the markup I'm going to make some white space here, save it, refresh in my browser you'll notice you'll see no change in the browser. White space in the markup does not affect white space in the browser. I could put returns in anywhere in here and it's not going to change the way this will display in the browser. Okay, so I'm going to do it again, save it, refresh it. Once again, you see absolutely no change. So when you write your markup, it's usually good to put white space in the markup that is going to make the markup more readable. This first paragraph has very uh, ragged edges. You'll notice some are, some lines are very short, some lines are very long. This is not ideal. It makes it harder to read, harder to know when a line begins and ends. Uh, second paragraph, third paragraph, fourth and fifth paragraph all have closer to justified edges or edges of the, of the lines that are pretty close to ending in the same spot on every line. That's kind of how you want to have it formatted in your markup. And once again, this does not affect the way it displays in the browser. So don't worry about that. We're writing our markup for readability. Okay, so let's move on to a little bit of, of text formatting. I'm going to show you how to, do, how to do bold first. Bold is what I would call an inline level element. I put it inline with my markup, save it, refresh, and it makes some of my content bold. It makes some of my text content bold. See that? So go back to my markup. Lorem ipsum dolor sit amet is what is in between the bold beginning and bold ending. And that's what you see bolded in my browser. Now the other text formatting elements that we're going to be working with work exactly the same. Right down here, I'm going to try italics, I, I for italics. Save it, refresh it, and you'll see right up here, it's italicized. Okay. I'm just going to demonstrate the other couple that we wanted to work with. If you notice from the 
website, we're looking at italics, emphasize, and bold for our basic text formatting. So next I'm going to do emphasis. You might notice emphasis looks almost exactly like italics. Save it. Refresh it. And right there, italics is the same thing as emphasize. Or emphasize is the same thing as italics. They both italicize our text. So you could use one or the other. Now there are tons of text formatting elements. I'm going to bring up another window. I'm going to go to the W3 website. And search for W3 text formatting HTML. And I should find a bunch of HTML text formatting elements. W3 website is great. Okay, you should really look at it. And here are the different text formatting tags. Bold, big, M, I for italics, small, strong, sub, soup, which is superscript, um, ins, which is inserted, deleted, and um, there's underline and strike through. Okay, these are the ones that we're going to be practicing. You might notice that some say deprecated which means they're not being used anymore. Okay. So we're not really going to use underline strike through and uh, S. And I'll get to that a little later on. We're going to be covering that stuff using CSS. Okay. So back to my markup. We've got bold, italics, and emphasize. Now I'm going to show you how to make headlines. Headlines are block level elements. My content is just going to be headline one. The element, the tags look like this: h1, h1. I'm going to put in a little bit of white space to separate. It's always good form to do that, even though it's not going to affect the way it will display in the browser. It's just good form. It makes it easier to read. So go back to my web page. There we go. So what a headline does, it makes the text big and bold and takes up an entire line. It separates itself from everything else. Okay. I'm going to put an H1 down in the middle of one of these paragraphs here just so you can see. See what happens. Once again, white space has no effect. So I'd have no white space in here in between my paragraph and my H1s. But when I put that H1 in, it puts that whole chunk of content on its own line, stretches from edge of browser to edge of browser, puts a space above and below, makes it big and bold. Okay, That's what a headline does. It makes it big and bold and takes up a whole line. Now we've got several other headlines. We've got H2, H3, H4, all the way out to H6. They get progressively smaller. So H2, H3, H4, H5, I'm just going to show you what this looks like. Save it, refresh it. Here's H1, H2, H3, H4, H5, and H6 gets even smaller. So that's the end of the basic text formatting. Next video for this lesson I'm going to show you deals with page breaks and horizontal rules.